What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers episode number 27. Last episode we built this gigantic hangar, or we actually modified it to make it look really cool. Uh, this episode, we're going to be doing something completely new. Now we're coming towards the end of the season, so we're going to be doing our uh, the thing I've wanted to do all season. We're going to be going to Europa to see stuff. I don't know, what, what's on Europa? I guess ice. <laughs> we're going to be going uh, to Hoth. To see, uh, to see if we can form a little base on there. Just a, just like a short little thing. Kind of like uh, if, if Season 3 is the series, this will be like the mini-series. Uh, where, we, where we just take a little break and go to uh, Europa. But anyways, the season is coming to a close over the next couple of episodes. So I would like to take this time to ask you guys what you'd like to see after this season. There are a couple of options. First, uh, we could do Season 4. Like, uh, we take a little hi hiatus. Is that how you say that? A, a hiatus? Where you... Uh, you know, you don't record for a little while uh, for for this particular series. And then we'll come back in full swing with Season 4, which will be somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, if you want that, let me know where you want Season 4 to take place. Otherwise, we could think we could look at doing another type of series if you guys want to see that. Or we could look at doing something completely different altogether. So give me your opinions in the comments below, please, uh, about what you guys want to see next after this season. Okay, so will we get to Europa today? I don't actually know. Uh, we're at least going to make preparations for it. Um, we'll probably get there today. I actually don't know. We'll see how things go. I I'm at least planning to make the uh, the ship that'll bring us there. Um, but I would like to also say that I've done a couple of small modifications to the uh, the hangar off camera. Uh, so let me show you guys those. Give you guys a little tour of the the modifications. So uh, first of all, let me let me just jump down here. Zip. Land on my two feet. I've added these. Speaking of feet, I've added these things right here that will uh, prop Big Red up just a little bit so that we can connect with the little connector right there. Um, so, and we also have these, they're, they're color coded, so you know, the blue landing gears go on the blue, the, these things go there, and uh, we also have more blue landing gear stuff over here. I also added a camera, you guys were telling me that it's, that a camera is necessary, and I didn't believe you, until trying to land Big Red in the correct spot. Now let me show you what this camera does, because it's, it's pretty neat. I, I felt very proud of, of this <laughs> very small little addition to Big Red, but we'll, we'll get in here. We'll turn on our HUD and we'll push number five and we can see there's a little green line. So if you're, let's say for instance, you're taking off in big red, flying around, you don't know, you don't know where to go. Well, you can always look for that. See, if you're, if you're right here, you're too far forward. And if you're right here, you're too far backward. I don't want to go too far because we're going to hit something. But really, you just want to be right in the middle of this green line. Land yourself and hit number four. And now we should be landed perfectly on those things. Uh, so yeah, go into the green and you will be good to go. Uh, let's actually verify. Yeah. Yeah, all is good. Sweet. Okay, uh, so this now connects, which is really good. You uh, go connect. Eventually. And it actually connects really nicely. So before it was about a block too high because we put Big Red a block down. Um, and since I just moved her, it's not actually uh, perfect. I need to actually tweak that a little bit, which is as simple as pressing this button right here. And then see, it's it's pretty it's pretty solid. There's a little gap right there. It's like the gap between an elevator that you look down and you imagine like losing something important, like your car keys down there, and you're like, how would you ever get that out? And then you think that's probably happened to at least one person before, and you you shudder to think about what that person had to do to get their car back. But uh, but anyway, so that that was there before, but the landing gear was not. Um, so going upstairs, I also added another one in case you want to get on top of Big Red. So this one's kind of upside down, but uh, yeah, goes like this. And it doesn't actually land as nicely as that one does right there. It actually, uh, it might not go all the way because we moved Big Red. Actually, that's not that bad. A little bit of a bigger gap, but we can just jump it. And that'll allow us to run around on top of Big Red in case we ah, want to fall through. Um, but yeah, that comes back pretty pretty easily as well with the, with the butt. Uh, moving on, if we go up a little higher, I made a little addition to the side right here. Uh, which I will call the silo for a very good reason, because it looks like a silo. <laughs> so I made this little thing because I, this is where I want to build our ship to go to uh, to Hoth. Um, I'm gonna I want to build like a vertical ship, kind of like what we did a long time ago in season one, but better. So that's there, and you can actually go up to the other levels. This one's another level right here. You can go up another one right here, and then of course, actually, there's two more levels. Man, if this thing is high. Over here, this is the main. This is the first level that I built, the main level where you can look down on. And obviously, you know, if you want to go to the top, you can look in uh, to the silo from up there with all the railings and stuff, so you don't accidentally fall. <laughs> but yeah, no. So we have a silo. We're gonna build our ship in there, and I have no clue if it's gonna be that big, but 
Uh, I could have sworn I just saw this fidget. Maybe I'm going crazy. But uh, but yeah, there's our silo. Trying to think, did I make any other changes? I don't think I did. I think those are the only... Oh! Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So I also finished this, which is kind of a minor change. But, uh, oh, wow, going down a little fast there. But I finished the um, the flooring here. And it looks a little bit weird. It's got that weird little thing right there. That's because there's a gigantic gap. You might be able to see it right here if we go down. Yeah, you can see how there's a... It's pretty much like that the whole way. It's jagged like a, like a saw. So I added this thing right here so you can uh, you can jump over it and you won't have to see it. Even though it continues to look a bit weird. But yeah, so that's what I did off camera. Let's start going on camera and doing some stuff. Okay, we're going to hop in this thing. We're going to bring it over with us so we have a source of materials and stuff. Let's uh, unlock you, turn you around, and put you right over here. We have the uh, the, the Harvenator. Is that, that's not the Harvenator. What, what is this one called? I always forget the names of the Patron ships. And I, I feel bad. Uh, but we have a beacon just for that reason somewhere beacon this one. No, this one's the hazard miner. Okay, the hazard Doesn't have a landing gear really should have added one, but uh, it's probably fine So I think I'm just gonna stick this Somewhere in here like maybe against one of the walls or is this actually big enough to fit a ship? Hmm, that's actually real tight. That's not gonna be big enough to fit a ship. Well, I can It's probably fine if I bring it all the way down uh, but it, it'll serve as like a mobile um, a mobile cargo container because this isn't actually connected to the base for cargo uh, because it's on a different grid. So that would have been a whole pain in the butt. But we're just going to keep this right there. We'll, put, we'll tuck it right here. And it's also a mobile, um, a mobile source of oxygen. Uh, so what are we going to do on, the, the, uh, on Europa? What are my grand plans? What have I been leading up to trying to trying to get done this whole season so what we're going to do on europa is kind of a, a very interesting project that's going to hit the ground with such force that it shall immediately disintegrate let's see will it or will it survive there it goes <laughs> immediately disintegrate thanks max speed mod but anyways on europa what we're going to do is we're going to create an automated base um well actually i don't want to say automated i want to say a, a remote base so the idea is that we'll go to europa once and we'll set up all of the infrastructure so that we can use everything remotely uh, from here, pretty much. And I think it'll be a cool project, something I've never done before, and something that might fail miserably, uh, but also hilariously. Um, but the whole point of doing it that way is because Europa is filled with ice, and Mars is not filled with ice. Mars has a, a bunch of ice underground and stuff, but um, but it's not like the whole planet is ice. Here, I'll even show you. Look, you can see it from here. Look, it's white. It's full of ice, chock full of ice. And we can definitely use that for future endeavors with hydrogen-powered uh, engines. So we're going to go up there, grab the ice, and make a little remote base. So the idea is that sitting here, we'll be able to move things around and send ice back to here. So how will we send ice back to here, you might ask? Well, we're going to make a little welder pit on, on, uh, on Europa. And that welder pit is going to craft us a certain type of ship, which will serve as a... Uh, uh, a, what's what's it called a, a delivery man kind of like like a papa john's uh delivery man full of ice <laughs> so yeah that's the idea it's kind of crazy and it might not work um but it it will be a thing it will be <laughs> it'll be hilarious if it works it'll be hilarious if it doesn't work so um yeah so i've been a bad little andrew and i haven't off camera decided what we need for this build so let's sit here and think and figure out what we need for this build. I'm gonna make a little monitor right here, and I'm gonna think about things we might need for this because uh, once we get up there, we can't come back here. Well, we can, but we don't. We don't really want to go up there and then realize we forgot all the metal grids. You know what I'm saying? So we need to we need to figure out exactly what we need, write it all down, and then we can fill our ship with it. So I'm gonna make a LCD right here, and we're gonna put down everything that we need. We'll have a raw material one and a um, a full material one. And since I haven't asked for suggestions for this in the comments like I really should have last episode, uh, it will be interesting because I will probably forget something. But technically all I really need is enough stuff. Is this all the LCDs? I actually don't know. I'll grab it. I, all I really need is enough stuff for the, um, for the refinery and the assembler, the power, and the med bay. And from there, I should be able to mine everything I need. That is not all of them surprised they don't have a LCD. You know what they should add to Space Engineers? Is the ability to uh, make your own folders. So like they have a folder right here. It's like a folder of a bunch of all these items are in one. Uh, you should be able to make custom folders for yourself and be able to use them in your toolbar. That would be really cool. I'd have one. What would I have one for? 
all of the curved blocks might have one. I'd be able to bring back, you know, the, the half curved blocks, uh, this one right here. I'd be able to bring it back so it's only that one and it's uh, it's child one instead of also the um, the triangle piece and the uh, the half block. So that would actually save me a lot of um, heartache. Oh, thank you guys. I've got little uh, little robots coming to build stuff for me. All right, so this one up here is going to be for uh, materials that we need, uh, like the, the big picture kind of thing. This one down here is going to be the smaller picture, all the raw materials that we're going to need. All right, this is going to be fun. Okay, so big picture, what do we want to do? Uh, I'm going to have to create like drone ships, but I think we can probably do that uh, once we're there. So we probably don't even need to bring the materials for them. We can probably actually just find the materials there and then use them. That said, I don't actually know what's on Europa material wise. So maybe we do want to bring materials for at least one of every type of drone ship we're going to need. Okay, but first, bigger picture, we're going to want a uh, refinery. And I'm going to say times two. So we don't need everything to be super fast on this remote little uh, outpost that we're going to have. Um, we just need it to kind of work slowly, I guess. Because I'm not going to call upon it very often. It'll be more just like, hey, I need some stuff. And then they'll be like, all right, cool. Sending you some ice now. And it'll be like rare. It'll be like a, a, once, a once in a blue moon kind of thing. So we're going to want two refineries. Let's get two assemblers uh, times two. So I almost want to say uh, two laser antennas. So the only way this is going to work as well is if we, we use laser antennas because they are line of sight rather than uh, proximity. Um, and the proximity is too far for using normal antennas unless we had like an antenna array sort of thing, which would be kind of insane. That's like next level stuff. But we're going to have laser antenna. Uh, I almost want to say times two. Just because if one breaks, you're SOL. That said, I could always, you know what? Yeah, we're going to say two laser antennas. Um, we're going to want battery for, for uh, power storage times, I don't know, times, times four probably. Just so we can store quite a bit of power. Not that we really need to, we'll, we'll use four anyway. We have the materials, so why not? If we need to cut down, that's one place we could cut down uh, on is batteries. We're going to want uh, probably... For power generation, I think we might go wind power, just because it's really easy to set up. Although solar's easier nowadays, isn't it? Let's do, let's, maybe a little bit of both. Now nah, we'll do wind, it's fine. If we want to set up solar when we're there, we'll go find the materials and, and do it. Or maybe we can have our, our drones do it while we're sitting on the Mars base, get them to go and do it. Okay, so we're going to say wind turbine. I don't know how many we're going to need, probably like six. Um, they're really easy to make. We'll, we'll say eight. Two for each battery. They're really easy to make and uh, and set up, so it's not a big deal. All right, looking at this list, I think this might be everything that we need. So we're going to need, big picture-wise, we're going to need uh, two refineries, two assemblers, two laser antennas, one for uh, kind of emergency purposes, four batteries, uh, eight wind turbines, a single med bay, 50 normal blocks, 50 conveyors, five normal antennas for um, for because these things need to be in range. Of using them one ore detector for the base uh four welders one projector and four pistons for the welding station and then ship wise we're going to want a single welder slash grinder ship uh two mining ships because those probably tend to be uh exploded low. apparently my energy is low and we're going to want an emergency power ship and that's basically just going to be a ship that carries power so that if one of these ships runs out of power it can go fly to it and connect to it kind of like a battery charger uh, just like I'm charging myself right now. <laughs> okay, now we kind of know what we want. We haven't actually separated it into uh, raw materials yet, but you know what? I'll do that later. <laughs> It'll be fine. Let's go ahead and start building our ship, which is going to be right here. And I really should have built this closer to the ground so I don't have to fly while I'm doing this, but it's fine. I'll just uh, sit right here. So the ship is going to use, I want to say hydrogen, because while it might be harder to take off at first, it'll be way easier to uh, um, to take off from there. Because uh, there's lots of ice. Also, uh, hydrogen is just way easier than doing ion and atmospheric, in my opinion. Um, especially if you have ice dis that's disposable. All right, we're going to start with a... Uh, let's start with a hydrogen tank, um, as always. This will be a kind of small ship, so it's not going to be too too crazy. Uh, well, I guess we'll paint... We'll, we'll do a blue color. And I'm going to name this one after a patron once it's done as well. Oh, wow. That's actually very helpful. Should I build a second one? I don't think we'll need a second one, actually. 
so maybe not. Uh, what we are going to need, though, is going to be a large-ish cargo container to carry all of our goodies. So let's go and get that. Cargo. This is actually kind of nice. I brought the other thing here. I brought that here so we could have a bunch of materials uh, with us, but it looks like we won't actually need that. All right, I always mess this up. What's the... Okay. So single one, then three. Single one. Okay, so the three should be on the side and on the top, right? So I'll put that there, and the, there should be one right there, one on the bottom, and one right there. So it should be a pass-through. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> um, okay, so up there, then we're going to do an O2 generator. Uh, O2 generator, and that's going to give us our ice. Small ship O2 generators are weird. Um, I think it's got, yeah, it's got a big one right there. Okay. No, oh, I've screwed it up. <laughs> I've bollocks it. There we go. Put that right there. Awesome. And then now we have two little inputs. We could stick a, uh, a thing. Last time I did this, by the way, I had a lot of t uh, trouble moving it around inside the atmosphere. So someone was set telling me it would be easier if I just had two cockpits. Which is crazy. So crazy it might just work. <laughs> Let's try it. Uh, how do I want to connect this? I'm thinking we're going to have blocks on the side. So maybe come up like that and we'll have a cockpit facing up and then a cockpit facing sideways. Uh, where it'll be easier to move around in the atmosphere. Unless, actually, you know what? I don't even need to do that because I should have the ability to move. You know what? Yeah, it'll turn sideways. Fine. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. I don't need to do anything crazy like I was about to. Um, all right. Let's stick a cockpit on here. And we're going to use this one. Unfortunately, we can't use my favorite cockpit, which is not that one or that one. <laughs> the, the seat. I really like the seat that they added. Um, oh. There we go. So, yep, that'll connect. Awesome. So this is going to end up looking almost identical to the ship we built before. Um, oh, we're, we're missing batteries, aren't we? Uh, we'll stick batteries. I'll stick a connector there. Maybe I can stick a battery right here. I don't know. I don't know where I should stick batteries. Or I could use small batteries. I don't know. I don't know which one I should use. I could try small batteries, because hydrogen engines don't take up that much power, do they? We'll use the small batteries. I haven't used them very much, so we'll see if they're good, I guess. We'll, we'll just get a bunch of them. It'll be fine. How many small batteries equals one large battery? That's a good question. It's a good Space Busters question. Am I going overkill? Oh no, don't weld that one. Thank you. I might be going overkill on this. A little bit too many batteries. So for the large, large, uh, large thingamajig, we're going to put it right there. Then we're going to stick small ones on this. Which is a cool little design that I did last time as well. Because it looks cool. And it's, it's, it's really convenient. Um, shall we stick some up here too? I did say... You know what? Let's do it. I did say we would uh, we would expand it a little bit. Oh shoot. You know what? No. Scratch that. I forgot that this was uh, this was going to be a problem. Um, let's do it down here. Let's put them up here. Because down here it's probably a good idea to to uh, to have armor blocks. Because if you bump into the hydrogen container, bad things happen. And there we go. Okay, let's go grab a little bit more of this. By the way, next season I'm totally not uh, <laughs> not going to do this challenge again with the uh, the no hydrogen bottles. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's is the worst. I was fine with it earlier, but but now it's getting annoying. Um, but it's fine. It's always good to have some sort of challenge, right? Otherwise, things become boring. Stick some blocks up right there. Uh, okay, gyroscope wise, we're going to stick one right here, and I think only one will be fine. A single gyro. What's the worst that could happen? Maybe maybe another one right there. I don't know. That's not a bad idea. Okay, so now this thing should be complete. What are we missing? We have the power source. We have the gyro. We have thrusters in every almost every direction. We're missing a single direction. Uh, this one. And what else are we missing? I don't think we're missing anything. I think we are good to add some ice to this thing. So let's go and grab some ice with the... Uh, actually, we have a very convenient ship right here. 
Let's go find some ice and grab it. In fact, are you off? Uh, I could. I know where some ice is. I don't know if we'll be able to get to it because it's like way back there where the the ant mobile is. But we could try. Uh, hey, ant mobile, what's up? How are you doing? I'm just gonna grab a little bit of your ice if you do not mind. Don't worry about it. It's for a good cause. Oh my god! I just realized the Amobile hasn't seen the base since like season or since episode like two. <laughs> to the Amobile, he has no clue what we have over there. But we have like a whole base Amobile. You'd be you'd love it, man. Hey, we'll bring you back sometime, Amobile. That should be it. Should be like a hashtag rescue Amobile movement. <laughs> All right, how much ice? One hundred twenty-two thousand. That's probably fine. That's probably enough ice. For a small little mission, especially since we can refuel once we get there, or if need be halfway with, uh, with, um, uh, what are they called? Space rocks. Asteroids. I've actually never been to Europa. Well, actually, maybe I have on the server. But, uh, on this one, no, I've never been on, I've, I've never been to Europa on a single player world or built a base on Europa, so it'll be cool. Alright, how are our hydrogen reserves looking? Let's take a, take a check. 5%. Alright, so it's going to be a little bit of a slow process. But once it's done, it'll be good. Right? Maybe? Pfft, I don't know how fast it uses it up. I imagine not terribly fast. It'll probably be fine. Uh, I really should have put a merge block right here so I could just disconnect it when I wanted to. That would that would have made sense, wouldn't it? Add to this list. I forgot a couple things, obviously. We're going to add to this list large car container times 2. Large car... Go times two. Uh, a hydrogen tank times one, and oxygen tank. And the oxygen generator. Okay, that should be the, the comprehensive list that's going off the screen. Cool. That looks so cool. It's actually like right in the center too. That looks really awesome. What does it look like from above, I wonder? If you're just looking down, it looks like a very small rocket. <laughs> I actually wonder if she'll even fly. All right, while this thing is waiting, it's time probably to derive a comprehensive list of every material that we're going to need. Uh, now, real quick, one last thought. Am I missing anything? Cargo containers, check. Hydrogen. Oxygen, Coolio, Coolio, Coolio. I think I have everything. That said, I'm sure I'm missing something. <laughs> it's fine. What's the worst that can happen? All right, I'm going to break these down into their exact components that we're going to need, and I will uh, I will write them down here. This is going to be a blast. Oh, man, this is, this is the most fun. So the way I do it is I place the item down here with the color so that they don't come and weld it. And then I, I have a, a guide here. So this one, for instance, is going to require 140 per, but we want two of them. So that's going to be 280 per. So I have to add that to this. So 400 plus 280 is 600, 2, 2, 2,680. Cool. I should probably be doing this in an Excel spreadsheet, but it's fine. Computers, 160 times 2 is 320. Three sixty, bruh. Okay, whoo! That took about twenty minutes, but we've got a comprehensive list of everything that we need for these items right here. I have not counted in the ships. All right, I think it's probably about time to start getting our stuff. Oh my, this is going to be interesting. Uh, are we going to be able to carry all this? 5,000 steel plates is nothing. Uh, computers is fine. Construction components is fine. Metal grid's fine. Small, th this stuff, okay, this might be a lot. Um, other than that, the uh, power cells might be much. But I think that's it. I think that's not going to be terribly, terribly much. I think we'll be okay. Um, all right, so first, I will grab whatever I can from in here. So... Yeah, I'm just going to grab all this stuff. And I'm going to try and stick it in here. We'll count this stuff up later. But for now, we'll just stick it in here. There we 
go. Uh, I might be getting, I don't know how many, how many motors do I need? Probably not that many, right? Motors, 546. Okay, so we'll just go and grab a bunch of stuff. How about that? Because I, I pretty much know more or less exactly what I need. Can we leave now? The way is shut. How? Okay, the way, the way might be shut. Uh, it's fine. We'll carry it all. Is that a good idea? It's probably not that great idea, but it's fine. Oh, wait, we could use the hazard miner. All right, we are connected. Wow, it is chugging. Why is it not letting me? Okay, uh, we are connected. Let's start loading stuff up. Press I. Keep this ice with us. How about that? Okay, so first we want about 5,000 steel plates. We can go a little bit overboard. So we'll, we have already 1,000, so we'll go 4,000. Uh, 4,500. We just need to have at least the number around 4,000. Okay. <laughs> Wow, well, apparently we have like half of a steel plate in there somewhere. It's fine. Uh, so we need about 2,000 of these, so I'll go 3,000. Uh, we needed... I'm quickly losing track of what numbers I needed, actually. Uh, let's make ourselves a bunch of these, because I think we need more than we had. Um, for these, we need definitely 320, I think. Oops, that's not going in the right place. 320. Uh, for these we needed, I'll grab 5,000 because I think it was 5,000. We can grab any more later. For these we needed like 300 as well. Okay, we've got our stuff. Let's go and grab some stuff. So we'll go item by item. First we'll grab the um, the steel plates. We need 5,556 5, I think. But we can grab a little bit more than that. Uh, one of these has to be our purse. Okay. Okay, that's done. Computers, we need 719. Do we have any in here already? Uh, we do not. So 719. We'll grab 800 just to be on the safe side. Um, I probably could have grabbed something else if I had known computers were this light. <laughs> Alright, 800 going in. There we go. Okay, 248 radio components. What else is on our list? We have 80 detector components, 320 power cells. Uh, let's get the power cells, unless we have the detector. Did we bring 80 detector components? <gasps> we did! Okay, and also power cells. And we brought just enough power cells. Good on us. Uh, so let's stick this stuff in there. Alright, we should be sound here. The ice is going. The uh, O2 generator has stopped, which probably means that it's full. Yes, it is. Um... Power should be fine. I actually don't know. It almost makes me want to stick a, another one of these on here. Um, so what I, what I think we're going to do is I think next episode we'll, we'll actually launch this thing. So this episode, there's one more thing we have to do. Um, and then next episode, we'll launch the ship and then we'll set up the base in that episode as well. As we land. Hopefully we land. <laughs> Hopefully things don't, don't go really badly. Um... But yeah, so last things I want to do, I want to christen the ship with a name, and I would also like to uh, to put up a, a radio antenna here, uh, a laser antenna, because we kind of need to. In fact, it might not be a bad idea to stick the laser antenna right here, because we do have a very good line of sight. It'd be better over there, but this might actually look better, since we already have the gigantic mega structure. Put like a little antenna housing, and then it would, it would reach there. Yeah, that might not be bad. Obviously not right here because we're a little bit blocked, but over in that area that'd be perfect. So let's stick a little. Let's get a little tower going up. Not that big of a tower, just a little, a uh, little thing. We'll go maybe four blocks, just so it's like off the off the ground. It would look a little bit weird if it was just sticking out in the open. It's got to be like a little, some sort of uh, enclosure for it. Let me go and grab my my color, as well for uh, for no paint, no paint mode. Okay, so we're going to do something like this. Uh, maybe like, yeah, like this. This wouldn't look that bad. And we'll do it, um, I don't know, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll bring it up on all the sides. How about that? And see how that looks. One like that, one like that. And then, and then up here will be the, uh, the actual housing for the um, laser antenna. And that actually would look pretty good because it's with it's with the other bunch of metal, <laughs> pretty much. Um, if I were to stick it back over where the uh, the base entrance is, it might look a little bit weird. 
because it would kind of be out in the open. Um, in fact, I have been thinking about lowering the profile of, of the stuff over there. Let me grab some hydrogen and I'll go show you. Um, actually, I could technically get hydrogen in our new ship, too. But, um, but yeah, I've been thinking about lowering the profile right here. Maybe removing charging station. I don't know. Maybe removing that little thing now that we have the hangar. I don't know. It's an idea. I mean, it's already a huge area that our base covers. Can you see that? Like, look how far that is away, that stuff. And then it goes all the way to here. That's a huge underground base. Even though it's not really as big as it might seem. Because it's mostly a, uh, a tram thing, but still. Oh yeah, that's actually perfect. Because doesn't this kind of look out in the open if it was just sitting there like that? But if it's like this... That's actually pretty solid. Okay, let's let the uh, let's let the things go ahead and build that. And I turned off their noise, by the way, so you might not hear them welding or like, yeah, welding. You can hear a little bit, but it's not making like the tss sound anymore. It was annoying me because they they didn't have anything to do, so they were ticking. I don't know if you ever heard that, but yeah, they were going. So it was it was annoying. Uh, so that that should reach that. I don't know if I have to configure it because I've never used it, but doesn't seem to have any configuration options let me go to well you know I can just stick a thing on here actually um, one of these where are where is it this I guess I can't stick it on that that makes sense <laughs> okay we'll stick it right there range 50 kilometers infinite please thank you very much <laughs> it's just it's like you want 50 kilometers no let's go infinite let's just have an infinite range which is really what we want. Ah, so I guess we have to copy the coordinates. Okay, let's copy your coordinates. What did I just paste it in? Okay, I just pasted it in here apparently. Now we're gonna copy your coordinates and set that as a GPS so we remember it. Um, base uh, antenna cords. There we go. We'll put it in the description. This, I, I don't really care about this. We'll, we'll zero this out. Center of the universe. Alright. Cool. Oh, well, it actually rotates too. So it seems like once we set it up to connect with that over there, it will be able to rotate towards that and it'll, it'll be like pointing at it uh, so it can receive connection. That's actually really cool. Alright, now we have this thing set up. What does it look like from down here? Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Uh, maybe add, we'll add some sort of I don't know, maybe one of these. Number seven. Something like this. I don't know. That, that might not look good. I don't know. I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll, we'll do stuff to it. Um, okay, let's christen the ship, and then we'll end this episode, and then next episode we'll be able to do some actual flying. Getting to a different planet. Getting to a different uh, moon, I should say. All right, going from our list of Patreon names, I have christened this ship the BB Wagon, named after BB Does the Thing, who has been a a, a patron for a while. Um, so the BB Wagon, I, his name doesn't have wagon in it. I just I just put wagon on there because it's kind of like a wagon, isn't it? You know, it's it's carrying everything. It's like imagine there's a gold rush, and the gold rush is to the moon that we cannot currently see, uh, Europa. The heck is Europa? That's not Europa. I'm like Europa got smaller. No, okay. The, so the the gold rush is to there. So we have to actually head head out to Europa without getting dysentery. And this is what we need a wagon for. And we use the BB wagon for that. Um, so, yeah, that's the BB wagon. The BB wagon. All right, guys, I think we're finally ready. So the next episode, we'll be able to blast off, head over to the moon. Well, the, 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 uh, the ice moon. <laughs> and uh, set up our little colony. Wait, a little bit of parkour? Nah, uh, it wasn't meant to be. One more try. No, hang on. That wasn't a try. That was that was me messing up. Okay, one more try. Ugh! No! Ah! <laughs> it's fine. Okay, uh, if you guys like this episode, please hit the like button. Put your comments and your suggestions down below. Am I missing anything? Now is the time to tell me. Am I missing anything on this list that needs to go in? Oops, into uh, into the ship before we launch? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys liked it, please hit the like button. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers.